Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the workshop. The weather's cooperating today, so I thought I would uh, try to take advantage of it. But if you're a subscriber to my channel, you probably already know I'm a big fan of DIY instruments, whether it's something like this washboard over here or this uh, resonator microphone. Um, I just like to make things myself and then use them in, in some of my videos and stuff. And you know, a lot of people, I've gotten some questions where people talk have talked about how to get into homemade instruments or whatever. So that's what today's video is about. Here's your first homemade instrument. It's right here. It is the Kanjo. This is the quintessential homemade instrument, kind of the icon of homemade instruments here. What is a Kanjo? Well, Kanjo is, uh, was originally, some people called them can banjos, got shortened to Kanjo. And um, you can probably see here, it's a one string instrument with a can. So the resonator is the can. So as you pluck the string, it's the can that's making the noise or that's at least amplifying the vibrations, okay? And if you look closely at the frets, you notice it doesn't have uh, evenly spaced frets. There's a big space, like a large space, then a small space, and then a couple more large spaces and a small space, and, and so on and so forth. That's because it is tuned to a major scale. So these frets are automatically fretted out how you would play a major scale. So in other words, There's your do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So the good news there is you've always got a major scale. Now right now I have this tuned to a C, but if you wanted to tune it up to a D or down to a B or whatever, that would work. Or if you wanted to just kind of, I'm just gonna, that's not, that's not any actual note, but watch. Still works. That's the beauty of a canjo. It doesn't even have to be in tune to work and there are no wrong notes because it's always going to be part of a major scale. You've decided you want a Kanjo, how do you get started? Well, cbgiddy.com, they sell Kanjo kits. And that's probably the place I would recommend. It's a very simple kit. It just comes with, I think it comes with like five screws, a string, the can, the neck, a washer, and a tuner. I mean, it's a very, very simple kit. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a minute. But if you are just like not handy, if you are just scared of DIY, you can also buy them completed. And by the way, I think the kit is about $37. I think a completed Kanjos are like 40 to 43, depending on what style of can you get. Um, so very, very affordable. They have some that are made to look like whiskey bottles and all kinds of other things, if that's something you're into. But if you're more of a DIYer and you just, you're even more, you know, resourceful than that, you can just buy the neck and that's $25. And that's what I did here for this one that I made a while ago. And you can see this one actually has two strings because um, you know, there's no rules on a Kanjo, but I just tune them both to a C. So it's just in unison. But here I used a goof off can, right? So if you've got something laying around that you wanna use, you can use that. I've seen people use spam cans and soda cans and soup cans and just about everything else. You know, you can use whatever you want. And if you buy the kit, which is again, what I'd recommend, it's so simple. I mean, seriously, if you are the least handy person in the world, you can do it. Like I said, there's five screws. First of all, you put the tuner on and you use two screws to hold the tuner down. Then right here, there's a screw. You can just kind of see that that's being used for the string to pass through. So like a little string guide. And there's actually a kind of a divot there, like a, a, um, a little punch there, hole that's been punched so you know where to start the screw. And then you just screw that screw in and you screw it down, you know, not quite all the way. So leave it a little up so that it can guide the string through. And um, then you're done up here. Then down here, you just take the can and there are two screws. You can probably see there's one right here. And then there's another, hopefully you can see that right there. And that's it. You just screw the can down. That's it. And they even mark where the can goes. There'll be a line here that marks where the can goes. And then you take this little gold washer here, put it over the string, feed the string through the can. Um, you got to punch a hole in the bottom of the can, of course, but feed the string through the can up to the tuner and you are done. I mean, you can put this together in about 15 minutes. Now, if you want to get creative with it, you could stain it, paint it, you can do all kinds of fun things. You could make your own label for the can. There's a lot of things you could do if you want to get fancy with it. So now once you've got your Kanjo together and you say, okay, I'm ready to actually try something. As I said before, one of the wonderful things is it doesn't even need to be in tune and it's always in a major scale. anything that you play is going to be tuned to a major scale. So, you know, it's like a xylophone or a harmonica or something like that. There isn't really a wrong note as long as you're in that scale. But additionally, you can play it any way you want. So if you want to play it with your thumb, you can use your thumb. 
If you'd rather use, a, you know, like, and pluck it outward, use a finger and pluck it outward this way. Again, no rules. You can use a pick if you want. Grab a pick. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Just like any way that you can get the sound out of it. One of my favorite ways to play canjo actually is to just use like a couple of fingernails and just do this. You know, there's just, there's no right or wrong way to play a canjo. If you can get the sound out of it, you're doing it right. And you kind of get the feel of how to hold it and all that. And you get a kind of a feel of the fretboard, then you can start to pick out just really simple songs like, I don't know, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So like that, I mean, and you just kind of figure them out. Or songs like Happy Birthday. So next time someone has a birthday, you can grab your canjo, give them something a little special like this. So that's what I'm talking about. I mean, there's a million songs in here. There's a million creative things to do with it. And it's kind of fun just to put it together. And so if you're looking to get into homemade string instruments, this is your gateway right here, the Kanjo. If you're already into that and you haven't made a Kanjo yet, why not? They're fun. Do it. And uh, if you really never want to get into it, hopefully you still enjoyed the video. So thanks for tuning in today. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you like this content, please subscribe for me. I'll see you guys soon.